Hey guys, in this video I'll show you how to connect a PS4 controller to your PC in 2020 with no cable required. So now let's jump with the video. For this tutorial, there's only two things you need. So first your controller and then your computer and that's it. And I can open up any browser you want. So I'm gonna open up Chrome. And after that, you're gonna type in DS4 for Windows. So after you type that in, and now you're gonna click on the first link. And after that, you're gonna click on download. And after that, you're gonna click on download. So before you download this, make sure you look at this. So this actually got recently updated for the last update was in October 6th. So after that, you're gonna click on this blue download button. Then you're gonna see it's gonna say downloading. So I'm just gonna save this to my download folder and click on save. After that, you're gonna see it's gonna say downloading. You just know with the uh, new Chrome, it's actually in the top. Okay, so after it's finished downloading, and I'm gonna open it up. So you're gonna click on so you're gonna extract with anything you want. So you can gonna extract with it whenever, but if you don't have it, it just know it's free, you can download it. So after that is done, and I'm gonna open it up, then you're gonna click on DS4 for Windows. And I'm gonna look for DS4 Windows. So you're gonna click on it, and then you're gonna, if you get this, this only gonna happen if you are on Windows 11. If you're not on Windows 11, you're not gonna get this pop-up. So you're gonna click on yes. And then it's gonna open up your browser. Over here it's gonna uh, download .net. That's not just gonna say download automatically. So just click on download. After that is complete, you can open it up. You're gonna click on install. Click on yes. And that's it. Okay, after that you're gonna go back to the DS4 Windows and you're gonna uh, you click on it. And then th this time it actually gonna work. This pop up right here. Over here it doesn't matter. So I'll just click on update. -er. Then after that you're gonna get this right here. You click on close. It doesn't important. Mm -hmm. Then you're gonna click on yes. Then you're gonna get this option right here. For the step for the step one, it's necessary, so you're gonna click on step one and then make it download. Click on next. Then click on I agree and click on next again. Then click on install. For that, you're gonna hit finish. <laughs> for the step three, it's optional, so you can skip that. For the step three, is connect via Bluetooth. For this, you can open up your setting. Then you're gonna tap on Bluetooth and you're gonna tap on add device. Then you're gonna tap on add device again. And then on a controller, you're gonna hold the share and the PS button. You're gonna see it's gonna start a flashing just like this. On a computer, you're gonna see what is controller. You're gonna tap on that. Then you're gonna see it's gonna start connected and click on done. Then after that, you're gonna hit close. And step two is done. And for the step four and five is optional. And after that, you're gonna hit finish. Then over here, the controller is connected, but you don't see anything. After that, you're gonna click on start. Then you should see the controller is gonna pop up right here. Boom, it's just like that. Hey, look at this. If I use the mouse, you're gonna see the controller is actually working. This software, there's many things you can do. So if you click on profile, click on new, then, you, then after that, you click on now. So with this software, you can customize everything from your keyboard to a controller. So for example, if I want to do this right here, so if, so if I just hold this button, I'm, I'm gonna press on Windows. And after that, uh, after that, uh, after just click on save. So for this name, I'll just name it. I think it doesn't matter. Then for the uh, profile, I'm gonna click on that. And then over here, if I just hold it is right here, it's gonna open up that. How cool is that? And, and then also, if you go to the right and if you see use custom color, so with this you can actually choose any color you want, and then your controller gonna change to that color. For example, if I want to do green, so you go to green, and then you're gonna see the controller is gonna turn in green. Then if you hold the PS button, you're gonna see it is actually working. And if I just hold it down, you're gonna see it is actually working. Look at this, if I open up Steam, I just click on X, then it's gonna open up this Steam. You're gonna see it's gonna open in the big picture mode because the controller is connected. So that is it. So now I'm gonna quickly open up a game to show you how it works. More content just like this one. Make sure you like the video and don't forget to click the subscribe button and peace out.